Hi! Hey guys, this is John from Tech7.net and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can remove scratches from your cell phone screen. How exciting is that? Please know that this is a last resort kind of technique and I definitely don't recommend you do this if your cell phone has a clear protective layer in the front housing. I mean, just buy a new housing. That just makes more sense. I got this BlackBerry 8900 from Craigslist for around $200 and with that price tag, the condition was terrible. <laughs> the screen was super scratched up. Me being cheap, I tried all the do-it-yourself techniques I read about on the internet and none of them worked. I tried using lotion, toothpaste, I even went out and bought uh, Brasso for five or six dollars. Brasso is a metal polish and that didn't work. I also, well, there was one technique where they recommend you use a banana. I didn't do that because I didn't think it would work and it just sounds gross. The technique you're going to be seeing in this video will work guaranteed if you do it correctly. It's the same technique used to remove scratches from anything from cars to guitars. Please note that we are not responsible if you damage your device and we definitely don't recommend this for touchscreen phones because touchscreens have like different technologies and stuff. You can buy all of the stuff we're going to mention in this video at your local Walmart or something similar and you shouldn't need to spend any more than 15 to 20 dollars which is a lot better than paying you know hundred dollars for a a brand new screen. Okay, enough chit chat, let's get to it. Here is our subject, a beaten up Blackberry 8900. Look how disgusting it is. Check out the scratches on the screen, aish. Let's start off by listing the materials. First we have water, scissors, a pen, electric tape, 400 grit sandpaper, 800 grit, 1000 grit, sorry I mixed up the labels, 1500 grit and you can use 2000 grit as well but my Walmart didn't have any. Two cleaning cloths and 3M rubbing compound, the good stuff that comes in the black bottle. We're going to start off by taking the phone apart so you'll need the proper tools. We're going to take out the battery so that your phone won't get water damaged and you don't uh, kill yourself. Alright, let's fast forward a bit. After you've taken it apart, tape up the edges around the screen to prevent water from leaking into the phone's core. I didn't do this for this video, but I really should have taken the screen out. Clean the screen to remove oils and fingerprints. Okay, let's start sanding. Take your piece of 400 grit sandpaper and wrap it tightly around your pen. This will allow you to sand evenly. Spray a bit of water on the screen. For this video, I sprayed way too much water. Don't do what I just did. And start sanding with medium pressure. This is called wet sanding. Sand until all the initial scratches you had before vanishes. This may take a while. When you're done, dab it dry with paper towel. You should see this uh, brushed metal looking matte finish. This is what we want, so don't freak out. When it's dry, you can check the evenness of your sanding. Repeat with the same grit of sandpaper if you need to. Repeat this process for all of the grits of sandpaper. Remember, you need to be very careful and you need to be very patient. Take it away, Keith. Now the scratches look very fine. Don't freak out and say, oh my god, my screen looks hideous. We're not finished yet. Generously dab some 3M rubbing compound onto the screen and start polishing. Rub in a circular motion with even pressure until all of the polish disappears. Buff it a little with a clean cloth when you're done and check. Much better, but we can do better than that. Right, kids? Right. Repeat as many times as you need to. Now that's better. A close-up shot, please. Ain't it pretty? And here it is with the phone all reassembled. If you're fortunate to have an old cell phone laying around, practice on it. I had this old Sony Ericsson I don't use anymore, and what I did was I used Brasso to scratch up the screen as much as I could. Then I practiced the technique. As you see in this video clip, it worked out quite nicely. By the way, you can use this technique on the phone's housing as well. Check it out. I sanded out all the cheap and tacky looking um, silver chrome around this BlackBerry 8900. So now it's all black and sleek and stylish, you know, get all the ladies' attentions and stuff. Final notes, be very patient with this. I estimate this uh, might have taken me about an hour or so. So yeah, be patient, be very cautious, and best of luck, guys. Make your cell phone screen shiny and scratchless.
Ding. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and check out our other videos as well because we make a ton of them. <laughs> I like to make the videos. This was John from Tech7 and I will see you guys next time. Laters.